Undertale by Toby Fox. A fatal error has occurred. The main comic for the aftermath of a fight between two glitches, Error Sands and Geno Sands. Error being known as a multiversal destroyer and Geno being known from an alternate timeline comic of Undertale known as Aftertale. This comic is by Lover of Piggies on Tumblr or by their better known name of Crayon Queen. Now, here is the possibly confusing part and what the Undertale community is known for. Timelines, alternate universes, voids, etc. We like to have everything connected into one massive system, either through canons, versions, takes, timelines, alternate universes, what ifs, etc. All connecting into a multiverse, or like the internet is inside of a computer, because all three of these sanses are technically the same sans just from different times and timelines. They all originate from Aftertale, but Fatal Error comes to be after the fight between Error going back to Aftertale to destroy it. And well, failing. But to understand any of this, we need to understand how all three of these big community characters came to be. Off to Aftertale by Crayon Queen, we go. Aftertale, an alternate timeline comic of Undertale by Lover of Piggies on Tumblr, better known as Crayon Queen. The name Crayon Queen could be a knock at their use of using crayons to color in their comics. This is seen right at the start of the comic. The first page showing the death of Sans in the corridor, and the next showing him wake up in absolute panic. This marks a new day, waking up a Papyrus and them chalking it up to just another nightmare. After having a nightmare of finding your dead brother and it feeling so real, he just says, nah, it wasn't that bad. I would love to know his top five. With Papyrus going to bed with boxers on his head as a head cap. The day now goes on as a normal day in Undertale. They go on walking to their stations and Papyrus telling Sans not to slack off, like that's not gonna happen anyway. A good old whoopee cushion handshake with a side of a nightmare flash. Now I will say it, the talent is crazy. People have a hard time seeing this and think it doesn't take work, time, and or talent. Trust me, not everyone has it in what they want, or any at all. Risk is taken to the shed to be away from the cold, but there is no way this is much better than outside. It's a shed. We all know sheds, more often than not, are just plywood or metal. Oh yeah, a blanket and some hot cocoa, and that's it. No shot this is much better than outside. Oh, you can't forget about the dog food, though. Why do they have dog food? This panel marks the start to a dream of a memory from a previous timeline. Undyne and Alphys are talking through what they both will be doing next as they are watching Frisk kill everything in its way. Undyne notices that Sans looks like he's about to roll into a ball forever, so she goes to talk with him before having her legendary fight, trying to help him not lose hope for the future. But Sans stiff arms her, looking like he's just about to crash out but my expectations were broken after I saw the next frame of Sans just chilling. Added a pun and a smile to the bold lie of him acting like he's just fine. Utter disbelief. The memory continues with Sans going to the camera feed and watching. Like bro, I know his magic must be boiling, but this isn't going to make it much better. Then he asks for the cameras for Snowden. Why would he want to watch his own brother's death happen? This forces Sans to wake up from such a terror, very understandably panicking. Sans only comes down from this intense outburst of emotions and magic after seeing Papyrus come to comfort him. Magic so intense, it burned the back of his clothes to the bone. As the emotions calm and everyone gets ready to go back to bed, Things seem to be back to normal. For Papyrus and Frisk, that is.